Hi, this is Deb from Business Building Shortcuts, and in this video, we're going to go from our autoresponder in our Kickstart Cart program, and we're going to input that and create an opt in form on a squeeze page template that I'm going to show you how to download. If I can't get it all done in 10 minutes, we'll make two videos out of this. So, first thing you want to do is log into your Kickstart Cart account. And there is another video on our site showing you how to set up an autoresponder. So um, I'm not going to show you that again here, but what you would click on is My Autoresponders, and it should bring you to the list of the autoresponders you've created. I just created one called Template Test, and all we really need from this is to go ahead and get certain pieces of information. In another video on our site, we showed you how to create the opt-in form. On this squeeze page template that you're going to be downloading and you can use in your um, own marketing efforts, there is already the Kickstart Cart uh, HTML code in there. And we're just going to need to replace that code with a number of pieces of information uh, from your Kickstart Cart account, so you won't have to go through that whole process. So the pieces of information that I want you to write down, you're going to need to keep track of your merchant ID up here, and you're also going to want to capture the name, the autoresponder ID from your autoresponder that you want to use. And remember, we found that by going to um, Manage Autoresponders and then we clicked on the name of the autoresponder because you see it doesn't give you that here but if you click on the name of the autoresponder you'll go to this page where you can write down your autoresponder ID. So grab those pieces of information. The other things you're also going to want to uh, know are the page that you want people to go to the thank you page after they opt in You'll need to create that with your HTML editor and upload that to your site. Otherwise, Kickstart will send you to their standard thank you page, which is okay as well. So let's go ahead and um, close out of your Kickstart cart. You've got those pieces of information. And open up a web browser. Okay, I want you to open up your web browser and go to our other website, um, www.wealthattractionformula.com. Let me pull that down so you can see it. www.wealthattractionformula.com. And on this site, what we're going to do is uh, show you how to save. There are two different ways you can capture a site and use it as a template. And if you don't know about using swipe files, because that's what we're doing right here, uh, make sure you sign up and get a copy of the uh, MP3 and the action guides that went with our Swipe File Tell Seminar. It'll show you how to do this and talk to you much more in depth about it. Now, you're not going to want to use this web page exactly. And we swiped this from Telman Knutson and made it our own. Now we're going to let you swipe it from us and make it your own. And so there are two ways. One way is to go to the site that you want, go up to File, and click Save Page As, and it will bring you to um, a site. We're going to download it at Download Test. So you would navigate to wherever on your computer you want to save this, and you would select Web Page Complete. And what that's going to do is copy all of the source code. So you would just go ahead and click Save. Now that's been saved to that file on your computer. We could open that now in our HTML editor and you will see this exact same page uh, on your on your um, HTML editor and HTML editor. Now the other way you can do this is to click on view and go into page source. And what this is going to bring you is all of the HTML code associated with this page. So you would be able to well wait a minute we can't see that whole thing. Let me scroll over. It's going to show you all of this different HTML code. And you would be able to copy it all, Control A, and then Control C for copying it. And um, then what you would do is open up your HTML editor 
and paste that into HTML. So I'm going to stop right now and I'm going to close out of Wealth Attraction Formula because we already saved that page two different ways. One we captured the source code and the other way was going to File, Save Page As. And I'm going to open up Composer and we're going to put this page off of the web into Composer. All right, here we are back um, with our Composer HTML editor open. And you would click on New to open up a brand new page. Now this, remember this page right here where you would type, um, would be the place where you would look at your what you see is what you get web composition. But we can approach this in one of two different ways. The first thing that we I want to show you is because I have this in my clipboard. Remember all the source code we just copied? If I, if I paste it in here, it's going to just look like that source code. So what I need to do is open up this tab that says Edit HTML Source Code. And you see that it gives you some of the basic source code for your page. Just take that and delete it. And now that you're in that page, what I want you to do is Control V and copy in the source code here you can see from Wealth Attraction Formula. So when I click back on Normal, we should see that very same page. Now some pieces won't be there, like the audio, because that's uploaded to the web, so that's not going to show up here, but there's a placeholder for it. And then down here is our opt-in box, and if we look at Preview, it'll show you what the page will look like. Now, what you would want to do, because this is your swipe file, you obviously don't want to mark it Wealth Attraction Formula, but you can edit this. So you would go through and look at your About to Learn Secrets that most people will never know about how to really, and then this is the piece that you would remove, delete that, and put there something about the secrets that people are about to learn when they opt into your newsletter or your e-zine or your downloadable um, uh, PDF file or your teleseminar, whatever it is that you're offering as an ethical bribe for people to give you their name and their email address on this squeeze page, what it's about. So if you're um, talking about nutritional products, you might say you're about to learn secrets that most people will never know about how to really get the energy that they had when they were 18 or something like that. So you would want to edit this to what you want. Then you would edit this next page. Give us 60 seconds and we'll show you what you'll learn from our what? free e-course, teleseminar, PDF report, whatever it is. Then you would put your name and then you would just go ahead like that. When you register for the free whatever it is, um, you'll discover secrets like and then you rewrite these bullet points and you want them to talk about benefits of your product, not features. I'm not going to go into this in great detail right now. Um, more about swipe files in our swipe file teleseminar. But you would just go ahead and work down this template like that, changing the words, keeping the general flow of the document, but changing the words so that it's appropriate to your market, your product, and your website. And then you would come down here and if you wanted to put in um, an audio, you could em embed it right there. Otherwise, we can just remove that because you don't have to have audio on your site. And then down here, just put your first name, primary email, and click the Sign Me Up for the Wealth Attraction eCourse, because that's what this was. And you would want to change this to say, um, Sign Me Up for the free teleseminar, for the whatever it is you're offering. Enter your first name and primary email. And then we want to edit this as well. So um, right now, what you've done is you've gone through and edited those pieces of that. And you haven't done it here in preview. You would have to do it over here in normal. So you would go to the normal view and make those changes to the site. And then you would save it with a new name. Okay, now we're going to go to the second video in this pair where I'll show you another way to bring in the source code to open up that web page in your HTML editor. And then we'll go in and edit the Kickstart Cart opt-in code. So that's enough of this video. Now go find part two.